What's up guys? My name is Marco with Latinos for Trump and I'm doing this video because I think Donald Trump was so right in calling um, AOC um, in calling her Evita Peron because I just saw a tweet from C-SPAN where she's putting this show for <laughs> for her descamisados. She is um, emotionally seducing the audience in Spanish. Um, she's asking two main questions here. Uh, one is, um, she's asking the, win the witness, Ms. Juarez, um, the question uh, if the cages, or when she came into um, the detention centers, uh, if there was a, a safe sanitary conditions, to which she says no, you know, and this gets me, guys. It's like these people come from the th from a third world country, where there <laughs> there's no basic needs. That uh, I mean, there is no toilet paper in most of these countries, in the bathroom, uh, and, and she is just. Uh, she is just expecting this detention center to be a five-star uh, facility. Um, guys, you are being taken over. Beto spoke Spanish. Freaking uh, Cory uh, uh, Booker spoke Spanish. Um, this o o -C, uh, AOC is speaking Spanish. In Congress, do you guys know what I'm talking about? I am from Mexico. I was born and raised in Mexico. If I saw a diputado in Congress in Mexico speaking in Chinese <laughs> for the whole world, it would be something so crazy. But here in America, it's, it's something that it's, it's on TV. You're being taken over America. You, somebody needs to get angry here and fight back. Um, then they ask the question, culture cr cruelty. If that was a culture cruelty. Now the witness, Ms. Juarez, she doesn't really say that they were cruel to her. She, she doesn't say that they, insult, they insulted her, but that she, they, they call her migrant. Well, she is a freaking migrant. What, do they, what does she want her, them to call her? And then she's saying that w when she talked to ICE, that the, the ICE um, agent told her, my name is so-and-so and Donald Trump is my president. Why does she have to say Donald Trump in her testimony? This is a political stunt in Spanish before Congress, before the most powerful Congress in, 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 in the world, being taken over by a third world, by third world tactics. America, you are being conquered. You are being taken over. And I'm telling you this, and you know what? I speak Spanish. It does, for me, it doesn't matter. Uh, OCH doesn't speak Spanish very good, so she just shouldn't even be sp speaking Spanish to this person, but they're doing it. They're doing it because they're trying to emotionally seduce the Democrat base to rise against Trump. Now, they, they, they were not even translating this. They were talking like, you know, like they were at a, at a, at a private meeting Talking in Spanish like nothing, until some until I believe the chairman say, interrupted and say, "Hey, unless everybody speaks Spanish here, we need to start translating what, whatever the testimony from Ms. Juarez is about uh, safe sanitary conditions and, and culture of cruelty." So they're milking this Ms. Juarez. She's a lying little bad mujer that's giving a world stage. For her to lie against the very country that will potentially give her uh, 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 asylum and give her an opportunity to be safe from, from imminent harm 
from whatever country she came from. Americans get angry and fight back, do something. Thank you. De la ley de los Estados Unidos no estaba en segura en sanitario en detención en las jaulas telefónicamente con los uh, sobre qué era lo que yo venía a hacer en el país. Just for let's let's translate. Conditions under as mandated under U.S. law in her opinion the answer for detention when I was in in the cage and we had a phone interview. El oficial de de inmigración de ICE. Ellos casi no los no no nos dejaban hablar. Que me presidente es un sí te podemos encerrar en la cárcel. Es como es fueron llamadas por nombres groseros y palabras que a nosotros nos afectaban. Solo la llamada, solo me dijeron esas fuertes para la oportunidad de responderles. On the telephone during the interview, I was talking about my child's future, but they wouldn't let me talk, and they said, you know, and we can take your little girl away from you and lock you. And seeing this of the words that were the strong words that were used, letting me respond when they used strong words. You know, there there are debates about money. That's what we're doing. So thank you very much, Ms. Ocasio.